Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I am your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR. And what do we have up on screen today? Now, uh, earlier this week, I I did a session zero of Giant Lands uh, with uh, Skeeter Green and uh, Bad Mike, and it wasn't the best experience, but uh, Wonderful keeps on finding itself uh, in the gaming news. Now, I'm going to tip my hat to David Floor. David has been on top of Wonderfield and new TSR, like uh, what's the saying? White on rice? Um, David is a great source of information. You should follow him on Facebook if you aren't already. So, apparently, uh, according to Wonderfield, James M. Ward, co-creator of D&D, Hashtag d and Hashtag Gamma World. And more has been showing up on our official Discord every morning to answer questions about our giant lands. Do you have questions for James? Join us now. Um, by the reasoning of uh, Dinehart, apparently everybody who worked on AD&D or d and right, is... A, a co-creator? No. There are two co-creators of Dungeons and Dragons. They are recognized. It is Gary Gygax and Dave Arneson. They are the ones that literally created D and D as we know it. Without one or the other, we probably wouldn't have what we have. Without James Ward's influence, and I'm not diminishing James's or Jim's influence at all by saying this, um, would it be a different game? Certainly but it would still be the same game. Wouldn't be exactly the same, but it's it would still be kind of the same. Um, so there was pushback on this. And the pushback, if I can get it to go to it. There we go. Uh, what the actual fuck? Co-creator D&D? That's a new one. Those nostalgia con artists get more and more brazen. Now remember, Don Hart's the same one that put... Gary Gygax Jr. on the cover of Giant Lands. Ernie doesn't go by Guy, uh, Gary. He goes by Ernie. So why would that be the only time I've ever seen Ernie referred to as Gary Gygax Jr. as opposed to Ernie G. Gygax or Ernie Gary Gygax? Uh, it's because, again, hitting the nostalgia notes. Steve Dinehart, it's all about marketing. Uh, let's see. Well, it's interesting. He did work for TSR for 20 years and gained it all, but, but co-creator is stretching it a bit. Oh, definitely. He had a role in 2E, but co-creator? Brian Bloom has more of a claim on that. Wonderful. Games are collaborative creations by their nature, and what began with Gary and Dave grew. Without the contributions of James, Dungeons and Dragons would not be what it was. You know, it's an odd thing to claim that anyone that worked on one of you is stealing clout by calling them a co-creator. It's a giving credit where credit is due. D&D wouldn't be D&D without James Ward. But it doesn't make him a creator. Collaborator? Certainly. He collaborated on it, but he did not create it. But why, why is Steve Dinehart such a special case? Well, look what happened yesterday over on N-World. Uh, somebody named Infinity Man, I guess it was a new account over on, uh, on N-World, started uh, pumping up Giant Lands. And he's like, oh, uh, most of the reviews of the game have been pretty positive. Big Ward... Gamma World fan, and it's giving me Gamma World vibes. However, some Dark Sun. Anyone else pick one up? Okay. And it starts a conversation, but this, there's that little red, that the little mod talk there. What's that mod talk say? After doing some investigation, I am satisfied that Infinity Man is, indeed, Giant Land's owner, Stephen Dinehart. I'm trying not to laugh. I know, I really shouldn't, but... <laughs> 
Pretending to be a customer in order to trick our members is against our rules, as described here. Misleading and lying to our members is not acceptable. I will be locking this thread and editing the original post to make it clear what happened. I'll, I'll include a link to this one. This is uh, interesting. Um, of course, uh, somebody mentioned that I had a playthrough, Session Zero. Hey, watch it. <clears throat> but Infinity Man comes back with, it was 130 really that high? I paid 90 for Battlefield 2042, and now they want 9.99 a month. And uh, what else here? Well, he's showing more uh, uh, comparisons. Uh, I'm just skeptical until I play it or see it. I try to be brave with new systems but um again he's doing a he's doing a great job keeping the conversation going he's he's out there almost every time somebody mentions something about giant lands or responds he's like oh gotta make a comment like tank write a playthrough but no it's not an official review haven't seen those what, what, what's an official review, by the way, folks? I mean, who makes official reviews? Uh, is there a stamp that, you know, you get an official review stamp? But somebody makes a review. I did, I did session zero, but I did an unboxing. I don't call either one a review, but if I do a review, is it official? I don't think there's a, a, a party that makes these reviews official. And then Morris comes in with, Hi, Stephen. Nice to see you here. And uh, the hilarity continues because Stephen Dinehart uh, keeps keeps the uh, the look up to the end. If you need to drum up business by um, falsely claiming that your author uh, did the work with you was a co-creator of Dungeons and Dragons. If you uh, falsely create an account on a forum so you can uh, gin up your own product, and I mean, your your level of integrity uh, that we what, that the public is going to judge you on that we're going to judge you on that that I am going to judge you on. Uh, your level of integrity does not exist. Now, we kind of knew that from when Don Hart was part of TSR. And it's scary. I mean, I was giving credit where credit was due. They actually put something out. TSR has yet to do so. TSR is taking orders for stuff, but I don't believe anything's shipped yet uh, for the actual products. So we'll, we will see. But I was giving some credit that, yes, uh, at least Don Hart published this game as expensive and overpriced as it is and as much of a train wreck as it is. But uh, not being satisfied to at least accomplish that, he's got to go all on con man. I mean, really, uh, he's got to take the title away from Ken Whitman. Con man Ken... Uh, Shyster, Shyster Steve. He's a Shyster. I'm a New Yorker. I can say Shyster. Uh, Stephen Dinehart, alleged Shyster, alleged uh, snake oil salesman. There we go. Because that's what he's doing, right? When you start making up a false account to pimp your stuff, man, you've really sunk. And I really feel, I feel. Sorry for Jim Ward, but not horribly sorry for Jim Ward because I'm sure Jim had an idea of what he was getting into bed with. And uh, if, if this stuff's going on and you don't distance yourself from it, then you're just as guilty as the person that you're involved with. My humble opinion. I'd like to hear your humble opinions or not so humble opinions. You can leave a comment at, at the end. Folks, we are still in the midst of the world of the pandemic. I really 
wish strongly that you do what I did. Speak to a medical professional and be guided by their advice. Somebody who knows, in my case, I spoke with three, but those that know your medical conditions, your medical history, and, uh, you know, if you haven't been vaxxed yet, ask those that know your medical conditions for guidance. Uh, other than that, be safe, be well, God bless, roll those dice, and God willing, I will be back again tomorrow. Man, I don't know if there's any more Giant Lands bullshit. I thought TSR was the gift I kept on giving, but apparently, no. Wonderfilled is f filling that lot very well. So uh, I tip my virtual hat to you, uh, Steve Dinehart, for keeping us entertained. Because, man, you're, you're giving Justin a real run for his money. All right, folks, on that note, laters. <laughs>